Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do a flip through Worlds of Wonder. Now I know there's loads of flip throughs of this um, and a few people have had it for a while but mine arrived recently and um, I haven't really looked through it properly yet. I've had a quick flick um, but I thought we'd look through it together. So here's the front and the back with its usual. It's very interesting. Um, now I've read that she did it like this so that people could do their own backgrounds, which is fine, I don't mind. And I might just colour this one, I might even colour this uh, opening page first because I really like this. I think this looks really nice. So you've got your French flaps, you can colour that in as well, I, I might do that. I've never coloured the inside like that before, but I might do that, I just I might do one every now and again, you know, I, th I think I will. So there's your, your, your first page and then you've got Welcome. Now this looks remarkably like the title page for Flourish. It's very similar. And then we've got this book belongs to again. A nice a small one. I probably will do that. I don't often put my names in them. I do occasionally. Then we've got all this which is the introduction, a guide to exploring worlds of wonder and so on before we get on to these lovely pictures. So some of these are going to be double page spreads and I can't go out any further than that so I do apologise but at least so you've got the one world at the top and then you've got another world underneath. That's really cool and then there's this one. So this one's quite fills the page and you don't have to do a, a background, it's entirely up to you if you want to and you can. So this is the UK edition obviously because I'm in, in the UK. I do like this one with the elephant and the balloons. And we've got this bird and he's perched on a very tiny house. And you've got all these houses. I think this, this is really, really nicely done. I, I'll admit this. I think it's beautiful. But then Johanna's Worth is always beautiful. I'm going to say that. So I do apologise if this... Oh, like I said, it's a very new book. I've only just got it. So, yeah, I think it's really, really nice. Look at that, that's lovely, that is. And then we got this one. And I, I, I love this bike over here, but this, this one's really pretty. It's, it's like a mandala, or a mandala, however you want to pronounce it. And the, the bike with the, the flower mandala wheels, I think that's very clever. And a flowery horse, that's beautiful. And then we've got some houses in bottles. It's almost very Hannah Carlson-ish, isn't it? She puts things in bottles. We've got this one with a fish. And it carries on this way. They are very big. I can't go. I might be able to go a bit higher and, and that might take it. That's a bit better. You have to see both, pretty much both pages all the time. If I put it across, that's it. be easier like that. And then, sort of like a steampunk fish. And a houseboat, literally. I just think that's really clever. And these. So it's almost like that. This is the cake cart. And next page is the cakes that you might find on it. I like that idea. I love colouring cakes. More well, houses. And I do like these houses. I think they're stunning. It really is a fantastical place. Like that windmill in there. They're just. I think they're just amazing drawings. The different fruits and vegetables. That's pretty cute. And then a the bee. Another house. I like that one actually. That's really nice. Little tower. Oh. See, I do like these. These are really nice. I'm going to enjoy this book, I think. And I've got all of the books except for How to Draw Inky Wonderlands just because I, I'm not interested in drawing. And I'm really not. I, I just like to colour. It relaxes me. And I can see me. Look at that with the, the trail from... Oh, I love it. The birds. And some trees. Oh. Oh, look at that. I mean, it's just so cleverly done. Absolutely beautiful. There's little flamingos there. I hope you can see it. All right, I do have a problem with these double spread books. It's the same problem with doing Kirby's. I like this owl. Look at that. 
That's beautiful. Very smooth, creamy paper. I like it. Little mushroom houses. Oh, I like this one with the fish and then like the turrets below. That's cool. And if you look, there, there it is in there. That is clever. Oh, look how busy that is. Those two pages are. My gosh, that is going to take some work, isn't it? It's beautiful, but that's a major project. There's so much on there. And again, I quite like these. I'm going to enjoy doing these, I think. And, and these little squares, they're really nice as well. That's nice. And then this butterfly or moth on the other side. This one, and strawberries, and a cat. Bottle. I love the way the fishes pull in the bottle in the little the little mushroom houses or toadstool houses in, in the bottle. I think that is so cute. These are very nice pictures. I'm sure we will be colouring in this at some point, you know, I think we'll. And that, just these little ones that are sweets and little ice cream sundaes and cupcakes and a jelly and a drinks. It's like a, um, Knickerbocker Glory. Those of you who are old enough to remember a proper Knickerbocker Glory, I'm not, but my mum certainly can. And the cat's asleep up there in a hammock. That's kind of cute. Right. And that's one of these on the pages where you can put something in the middle. I, I, I'm not very good at that, so it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> More houses. I like these. I like little streets. And the house being carried away by the balloons and the camel. The tents, that's clever, I like that. And this one's nice too. Mm. Oh, these are lovely. They're just amazing little pictures, aren't they? And it's a open top bus with the trees and a house in it. Where is... I just think it's really sweet. It's completely different from anything she's done, I think. And, and that is nice. I, I like it. So I hope you can see the pictures decently enough if you haven't already bought the book to know whether or not you'd want it. <gasps> I love this one. That just reminds me of There is a Castle in the Clouds from Le Mis. Uh, oh, this is just beautiful, aren't they? Oh my. I like that. The ship in the little bowl. <laughs> that is going to be a good one to colour, I think. Yeah. yeah. And then the back page. Lovely. And then there's a colour palette test page if you want to test things. And the back, and at the back, it shows you all the uh, other books as well the small and large versions, and the artist's editions, and things like that. So, so that is. Johanna Basford's new book, Worlds of Wonder. I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. I really like this book. I can't wait to get started in it. I'm not sure. I think I might just, uh, I might actually start doing the title page because I think that would be nice just to to do it a bit and, and even do the French, the, the flaps here. There's some pictures here on the flaps. Do that as well. And just do one of these one at a time every now and again. I think that would be quite a nice thing. Not wouldn't class it as a whip, just something to do every now and again. I, I really like that book. So there, I hope you've enjoyed that uh, flip through to that book. I will leave links to it down below for Amazon UK and US. If you want to go across and buy it, I don't get anything for it. It's just there for your convenience. I hope you enjoyed this flip through and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.